Well, good morning. Just finishing up the last of the watering. Let's go inside. Hola, hola, welcome. Today is Monday, July 20th, 2020, and it is time for your Monday morning shop update. Welcome to the show, shooting in fabulous 4K at an astounding 60 frames per second. I'm Jen Cravassi, Jekyll Bates, and we've got some cool stuff to get into today, so I'm excited about showing you guys this. This, I do every once in a while. I've done them with, um, with swim baits before, but every once in a while, I'll do a limited edition. You guys would get a print of this fire belly toad and a popper. And the popper this year is this beautiful replica fire belly toad. Yes, those are custom eyes, but I customized them even further. So I'm going to show you real quick what these eyes look like. And they are from John over at Jetson. Let's see if we can find them. They're actually pretty cool eyes. Let's see what we've got here. So they started out as these. And onto these, I added a little bit of red to the top and then brought a pen down and made a, a vertical line. And this is how they turned out. And you can see that the vertical line is on top because it's casting that shadow from the light there. But just tricked them out a little bit further because that more closely matches the actual eye of this fire belly toad. And this is the toad. Real pretty, real happy with how this turned out on those gill through poppers. And I have 10 of these. There are 10, only 10. And everybody that orders will get a print. They're going to be going for $35 shipped. That's the print and the popper mailed to your house. If you guys are interested, drop me a comment or email me at jencravasi.jagglebaits.com. And that's what we've got for the special. It's only 10 of these, so it's a very limited edition. You'll be getting a print of this original watercolor and drafter's ink. Moving on. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Did you guys have a good weekend? I did. It was productive. I stayed in the shop most of the weekend, but it was a fun weekend. Shot some videos. Um, you guys are going to be seeing um, the last one that I did, which is going to be a Mayan cichlid on one of the bull baits. So you guys should be seeing that in a couple of days. Just uh, real quick, you guys have seen one of these. I've done a couple more because people requested them. This is that distressed crappie that we did. Um, you guys would have seen this last week or maybe Friday. So the difference between shop updates most of the time and the spray sessions is that usually spray set sessions, if I can get that out right, are shot in advance. I do them when I have time because they, take, they do take up a good bit of time which I don't mind, but I need to have the time to do it versus doing orders. So there's that distressed crappie. This should have been the last one you guys saw. And this was pretty much a live shoot on this flag fin shiner on the Berkeley Juke 100 shallow diving. Good twitch bait. This is the clear coated version. Obviously you guys know by now I use diamond strength KBS. Just a little bit of subtle detail on those gill plates. I love the jukes for how detailed their gill plating is. Really enjoy that. They're some of the more advanced. Now, not to say that this is not. This actually really is. I love these. We all know what these are. But yeah, these are cool. So the yellow and red on the, on the fins. And because the pectoral was the only I could, the only one that I could really display properly, we did that. I like how this turned out. 
a Lamassi frog. This is, um, if you go to the website and you order anything off of the 2019 specialty series, it's like custom specialty line, limited series stuff. This is a frog and it was ordered by Josh Rogers. It's two piece it's going out. And this is a very close representation of what the Lamassi frog looks like. It is a silver legged yellow bodied frog real cool looking let me pop that picture up for you guys right now and last but certainly not least everybody's been talking about them this year actually this is not that this uh, what the, this is what i've been painting for about two years now and this is the european hornet they are cousins relatively it's the same genus it's the vespa genus yes the hornets are real the European version is the version that I've been painting for the last couple of years. They are literally about as big as this 2.5 square bill. They're big. They're, they're monster bees. There's no doubt there. And they are among the only in the Vespa, which are the true hornets or hornets. Uh, their wasps are not hornets. Hornets are a completely different beast. The bald face hornet is a hybrid sort of yellow jacket wasp variety. So that's not true. Um, so yeah, this is the European version. Now we all know the Asian version this year is being dubbed the murder hornet. <coughs> Folks, just to dispel some myths, they are not brand new in the United States. They've been here for a few years. Yes, they're, they're deadly. They can, if you have an adverse allergic reaction, just like any bee, um, they can give you some venom and they hurt like the Dickens. But there's nothing really new about them. They're not brand new to the United States like people would have you believe. They're not invading like aliens from outer space. And they will not rip your heads off if they come to your house. They are detrimental to the honeybee population. But that, again, is nothing new. They, the stuff just gets way, way, way over sensationalized. And in a year where things have been sensationalized, back and forth and constantly that was just one more thing so folks this is a bait it is not a murder hornet that's all the news is fit to print today thanks for hanging out with me on the channel if you like it think about subscribing i appreciate you guys love seeing you every time i'm here i've got another like i was saying i've got another spray session that i did that you guys are probably going to see at some point this week soon rather than later like midweek it's coming i think because i gave you two this weekend from shot from last week so um that is going to be a juvenile morphing into an adult mayan cichlid in the bull family of baits for mike jensen that's going to happen you guys have a fantastic rest of your week or whenever it is that you guys are watching this video. I will see you on the next one. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.